All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna have the page not found error actually show up, right? So right now it has a 404 error, and this is what you see if there isn't a page that actually exists. So to do this, it's actually really simple. Inside of our templates, we make a new file here called 404.html. And this one I can just do extends base.html and block, um, or whoops, we want block content as well. And we'll say h1 for four page not found. Save that. Uh, we can do the same thing for a 400 error, so 400.html. Um, I'll just say go copy and paste 400 error. And do the same thing for 500 error. Okay, now we've got our error pages. I go ahead and let's go ahead and look at them by running Heroku local web. And this time it is 0 0.05 thousand. Let's try and get a page not found. It's still giving us that local one. So let's go ahead and do git status, git add dash dash all, git commit, um, add added error pages, git push Heroku master. Let that run for a moment. So that, that will change what that looks like um, in just a second. One thing I did note is when I actually ran the fixtures on the last one or when I uploaded that data, um, the pages didn't actually change. So I actually had to come in here and make one of them featured and then update those other things as well. Um, and that's, that's something that you might end up having to do um, specifically for the live stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Put in that video embed, hit save. Now if I go to knock two on this, should have the, the old page working. Uh, it looks like our server's being updated. So here we go. So it's now having that video. It's that other knock two. This is showing up, good. Um, and if I go to a page that doesn't exist, it says 404 page not found. Um, it does still have the, you know, the error or the, um, collecting email part show up. So that's not necessarily something I always, always want to show up. So I will have to think about, you know, generally if I want this to even show. So I'll say var uh, do show um, marketing and I'll say false. Okay, so and, and, and do show marketing. Okay, so if that's true, do show marketing. So to make it true, we'll just say var um, do show marketing equals two. We will have, um, so show dash marketing some span and we'll get that attribute being show. So inside of any given page now on home.html, we're just gonna put a little span in here and I'll just say span class equals to show marketing and we'll do uh, show equals to true. Close that off, save that. And let's go ahead and go to any given page. Um, so that one's showing up. Notice it showed up twice there. So let's try that again. Okay, um, base.html. Let's go ahead and console log do show marketing. True is there, okay. Um, so let's change that to being false. Refresh, it shows false. It's not showing the marketing now. Um, so that means that I can actually have this as a attribute on here. Um, so I probably don't wanna call it show marketing, but um, um, email leave or leave capture equals to models dot boolean field default equaling a true. We'll save that. And I'll do python manage.py, make migrations, do all those things. 
I'm just gonna press up until I find it. Looks like I don't have it here. Okay, so Python manage.py make migrations and Python manage.py migrate. Now that we've got this leave capture here, um, going back into home.html, we'll just say if object dot leave capture and if show equals to true, we save that refresh in here and we've got nothing as far as that's concerned. So that's not showing, it is saying true here, but it's not actually giving us that data, right? So it's actually showing this being true, but it's not allowing this to actually work because of how, probably because of how that is. So what I will do is just do equals equals to true, save that. And we'll go back in here, refresh. Now it's a Boolean value of true. So it actually should show it and show marketing being true. And there it is. So it is showing, not sure why it's not showing every, oh wait, we just dismissed it. Okay, there we go. So refresh and now it's showing uh, on, on that one in particular. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and say pages. Um, knock two being leave capture save and going back into knock two save that and now when I leave it does not actually capture it and notice it says false down here so that means that it's now working um, so then also on my error pages this will no longer show it and the only way to actually show this portion we would just have to have a span in there called show marketing which I'm actually gonna change it as leave dash capture and change this as well as leave capture. Okay, so there we go. So now that I've got that leave capture stuff, I can just kind of assume that it's gonna be based off of my documents or the actual code. So let's go ahead and go in here into pages, knock HQ again. Let's make sure that that's on leave capture. Okay, so my home page. We'll inspect the element here, console, it's still saying false. So let's make sure I've got everything saved correctly and refresh now it says true, so if I leave and there it goes. Okay, cool. Um, so now that I've got that, we'll do git status, git add, dash dash all, git commit, update, leave capture form, git push Heroku master. Let that push for a moment and then we can actually restylize how our, our blank pages are working. Um, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.